This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 331. The 10 Things Perpetually Healthy Nerds Do That Unhealthy People Don't, part one, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm your narrator, Dr. Neil. Very happy Monday to you. Welcome to another week of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook. And don't forget, we have four other podcasts where we narrate blogs for you. To check them out, to search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this show. So it's Monday. Let's start this week off right with an inspirational quote. Yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Tony Robbins. Now before I get to today's post, I wanna warn you, it's gonna be a little different this week. And that's because this whole week, We're featuring just one post, but I'm breaking it up into five parts. So don't get me wrong. It's a new post that I'm reading to you and the longest from Nerd Fitness ever. And so this means there won't be a QA and a this week, but we'll definitely continue that next time. But I really think you're gonna enjoy this five-part special. So for now, let's get right to part one as we optimize your life. The 10 things perpetually healthy nerds do that unhealthy people don't. Part one by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. We want weight loss to be effortless, exciting, and entertaining. One simple trick to lose 50 pounds, the superfood that burns fat, how Hugh Jackman got in shape to play Wolverine in just 12 weeks. We want that one workout that scientists hate that finally melts the fat off our midsections and tones our arms and makes us look like Wonder Woman. We gorge on acai bowls and omega-3s and get excited about the latest article that says red wine is a health food as we polish off another bottle. Like Monty Python searching for the Holy Grail, we go through a series of follies in search of a nice idea that never actually comes to fruition. Right, right. Reality paints a much different picture. Weight loss comes from habits that don't grab headlines. Boring, dull, and oh so incredibly effective. I've seen tens of thousands of people lose millions of pounds collectively and get healthy permanently since I started Nerd Fitness almost a decade ago. At the same time, I've also seen hundreds of thousands of people make dramatic, grand declarations about the latest trend or fad, lose a few pounds, and end up right back where they started. If that sounds like you, you're in good company. No wonder a 2016 British study declared, quote, we're doomed to stay fat. So what gives? What's the difference between the try-try-agains and perpetually healthy nerds, or PHNs for short? With over 40,000 students now in our flagship online course, the Nerd Fitness Academy, and 10 years with thousands of emails and success stories, I created this monster resource that dives deep into the 10 most crucial habits of perpetually healthy nerds. How many of these 10 can you check off? Be honest, Santa is watching. One. They have a Groot mindset. Your mom was right. You are a unique snowflake. That means there are a ton of things that affect why you've gained weight over the past decade and why you struggle to lose it. Genetics, age, gender, stress level, home environment, mental health, activity level, diet quality, diet quantity. All of these things play a factor in what you look like and how healthy you are. Despite all of these various factors, I've seen a common thread amongst perpetually healthy nerds, or PHNs, that crushes all other factors. A Groot mindset. You're listening to this, so I assume you're familiar with Groot, the tree-like superhero from Guardians of the Galaxy. He can grow and change his shape to suit the situation. He also says, I am Groot, but that's less applicable here. How to build a Groot mindset. Unhealthy nerd. Quote, I have bad genetics. My parents are overweight. I am busy. I have children. I have a slow metabolism. I'm never going to be able to lose weight. This plan and your strategies won't work for me because, insert excuse here, I'm the fat guy or gal and that's all there is to it. End quote. Perpetually healthy nerd. Quote, I have bad genetics. My parents are overweight. I am busy. I have children. So how can I make this work for me in my situation? I know people like me who have lost weight, which is a great sign so I refuse to accept that I am a lost cause. I am Groot, end quote. It might not be your fault that you are overweight, thank genetics and bad habits from your parents, or that life sucks right now, but it 
is our responsibility and nobody else's to deal with it. People that get healthy build a new Groot-like identity for themselves, not the identity of a victim of bad genetics or a too busy life, but rather the identity of somebody that can change. We all have emotional, visceral responses to what we see in the mirror or how we feel when we wake up. We need to cut through the emotion and get to the truth. We alone are responsible for our fate, and that means we alone can fix it. Even if it isn't your fault where you are, accept that it's your personal responsibility to deal with it. Like Root, you can change and grow. You'll learn that your excuses are moot. If busier, older, fatter, poorer, and more injured people than you can get in shape, you can too. Decide today that I am a perpetually healthy nerd and then simply do the things that perpetually healthy nerds do and then repeat. Two, they know their big why. The road to perpetual weight loss and healthiness is fraught with peril. Even the best laid plans will end up in a ditch on the side of the road unless you have the ability to persevere when life gets busy and it's Taco Tuesday and a new video game just came out, and your kid is sick, and you just don't feel like exercising. That perseverance comes from a good answer to the question, why? And not just because I need to lose weight, but two levels deeper, inception style. Why you need to lose weight. That's the motivation and answer you need to be reminded of to persevere over the next few months. Because cake is delicious, and winter is coming. If your answer goes something like this, I'm here because my doctor, wife, husband, fill in the blank, thinks I should lose weight, and I know I should exercise more and do more, then you are more doomed than Sean Bean in literally any show or movie he's been in. You will give up at the first sign of adversity. Compare this to the raw, deep, honest answers we get from Nerd Fitness Academy members when we ask about their big why. I'm here because my dad died of a heart attack at age 45, and I don't want my kids growing up without a father like I did. Or, I'm here because I want my husband or wife to look at me the same way he or she used to, and I want us to grow old together. Or, I'm here because I just got dumped, and I want to get healthy so I can start dating again. I don't want people swiping left on my photos anymore. Or, I'm here because I want to look in the mirror and be proud of what I see. I want to stop hiding behind others in photographs. So why are you here? Is your reason for being here more important to you than cake? If it isn't, you're gonna give up at the first sign of adversity. Write down your great big why and go deep, my friend, way down. And ask yourself why to the answer of each of your questions until you get to the root of your reason for being here. Once you write that answer down, hang it up somewhere so you can see it every day. Fridge, cubicle, bathroom mirror, whatever works for you. Accept responsibility for your current situation. Be compassionate and also accept that you can change and your identity can change with small wins that prove it. Three, hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled The 10 Things Perpetually Healthy Nerds Do That Unhealthy People Don't by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. It's so ironic that Steve wrote about the asking the why because I just had this conversation with my students the other day in class. I could tell my students were getting a little frustrated and overwhelmed because of all the assignments and tests and quizzes that they have coming up. So I stopped them at the beginning of class and I said, let's remember why you're here. Ask yourselves, why am I putting myself through this? That works for dieting, it works for physical activity, it works for really anything, right? Just as Steve mentioned. So what I love about this post is that you can apply it to really any aspect of your life. Take a moment when you're dreading in going to work, ask yourself, why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? And I love that he said, write it down and post it somewhere because you will forget. You will forget why you're doing these things. We get into our habit. We stop consciously thinking about why we go to work every day, why we go to the gym every day, why we're cutting calories out of our diets. Ask the why. Now, really quickly, before we go, check out and subscribe to our other shows if you enjoyed this one. You can hear a lot more topics for free. Just search for Optimal Living Daily in your favorite podcast app to find the others. Thank you, as always, for listening. Thank you for listening today and every day. I'll be back tomorrow with part two of this five-part post, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. 
Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.